Assalamualaikum and hi kids. Uh, Cikgu Azrini here. So today we are going to learn new topic, Unit 4, Humans. Okay. In this topic, we are going to learn about the human senses. Actually, we already learn about the human senses at school. So I hope you still remember all the five senses that we have. Our senses, there are five main senses that our body use every day. Sense of taste, sense of smell, sense of sight, sense of hearing and sense of touch. So we use all these senses every day. And now also you are using your senses. Okay, you are using your sense of sight to watch this video. And then a sense of hearing to hear my voice. And then your textbook, page 31. Unit 4, Humans. Okay, Zaki's family is at the jetty. They are going for a vacation on an island. Zara, I haven't seen you for a long time. Yes, hello, Lina. Okay, listen. The boat has arrived. And then, this girl. What smell is this? It smells so good. And then, this boy. Lollipop. It tastes sweet. Okay, if you look at the picture here. All of them are using their senses. Uh, semua kat sini menggunakan deria. Mereka uh, dengar bunyi. Uh, mereka hidu. Uh, rasa lollipop. Okay, so, so all of them use their senses. Your textbook page 32, Human Senses. You have learned about senses. Do you know the parts of the body for the senses? Okay, so this is the sensory organs. Okay, sense of hearing, we use our ear. Sense of taste, we use our tongue. Sense of sight, we use our eye. Sense of smell, we use our nose. And then sense of touch, we use our hands or uh, our skin. Okay, we can differentiate the characteristics of an object through our sense organs. Recite the poem. Okay, parts of the body and senses. We use our eyes to see many colors, different sizes as well as shapes. We use our ears to listen to sounds. Some are soft, loud ones to be avoided. Our skin touches various things, cause hard and soft, smooth as well. Tongue for tasting, sweet, salty, sour. For delicious eating, smell with the nose, 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 nose. Sense of a sight. We can see by using our eyes. We can see color, size. And also shape. For example, if you look at this picture, this balloon is pink in color. The shape is circle. And the size is small. Sense of a hearing. We can hear by using our ears.
we can hear music, we can hear loud sound or soft sound. Sense of taste. We can taste by using our tongue. We can taste uh, sweet things, salty, sour, and also bitter. Sense of a smell. We can smell by using our nose. There is bad smell and also good smell. And the last one, sense of touch. We can touch by using our skin. We can feel that uh, something is uh, soft, cold, sharp, hot or hot. Okay, let's continue. This is in your textbook. Let's classify. Hafiz and Alia are at the fruit stall. They buy several types of fruits. Sapodia, apple, orange, and umbrella. They use the sense of taste and sight to identify the characteristics of the fruits. So if you look here, taste, sweet, shape, oval and also round. Okay, for the sweet taste, sapodia and also apple. Sour taste, orange and umbrella. And then, by using the sense of a sight, we can differentiate their shape, whether it is oval or round. Okay, oval shape, sapodia and also umbrella, while round shape, apple and orange. So we can classify them according to the group with the same characteristic. Okay, you can look here. Sour, orange and umbrella, sweet, sapodia and apple. Next, let's test classify me. So what we have here, clay, bell, cupcake, whistle, sponge and also marble. You need to identify the characteristics of the objects above and then separate the objects into soft and hard groups. Complete the classification chart as shown below. Soft and also hard. Examples are given here. Clay is soft. Okay, so you need to complete this classification chart. And then, there are questions are there. State the senses you have used to identify the characteristics of the objects. Okay, what are the senses that we used just now? To identify the characteristics of the objects. And then number two, what other characteristics can you use to classify the objects? Okay boys and girls, so you need to do this one in your science exercise book. Okay, write the day and also the dates and the title. Okay, let's test classify me. You need to copy the classification a chart and you must complete this a chart with the correct answers. After that, you need to copy the questions and try to answer the questions. Ok, 
Okay, you can refer your textbook also. Next, science activity book. You need to do page 23, 24 and also 25. Okay, for page 23, human senses match parts of the body to their senses. Okay, for example, nose, you match it to the nose and then you match it to the sense of smell. Okay, you continue to do the others. And then, page 24, parts of the body and senses. Okay, match the parts of the body below to the correct senses. So here we have eye, nose, ear, tongue, and also skin. And we have a sense of sight, smell, hearing, touch, and also taste. So you need to match the parts of this body to the correct senses. Okay, you can use your color pencil. Okay, this is the first example given to you. I, sense of sight. Page 25, let us classify taste. Classify the following objects according to their taste. Okay, we have here sweet, lime, honey, watermelon, asam gelugur, ice cream, mango, and vinegar. So you need to classify them into sweet or sour. Okay, according to the taste. Okay, I give you one example. Ice cream tastes sweet. So you write here, ice cream. And mango tastes sour. So that's all for today. We will meet again in our next lesson. And thank you.